Welcome to the Creative Plan Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim and Kelly here. Hello! From Creative Play and Podcast Network with hashtag RPG a day 2020. We are just going to be going on and on for 31 days of different things. Now whether they all get posted at the same time appropriately or all on one day horribly, that may be a case that we shall see. Because life life in the COVID-19 world, it's it's a little hectic. Yeah, it's different. If only we had seen this coming. If only we had vision. No. Was that was that groan there? Was that was that painful the way I threw the word? Yeah, out there? that was that was a painful segue. Vision is the word of your day, and I, I and I kind of think I'm going to take yesterday's theme and keep harping on it. Yes. No. <laughs> Don't pull that string. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and start out with, for vision, make sure that your GM or DM knows your vision for your character. This is one reason why, as a GM, I like to have my players throw out, like, a story of your character or some kind of, give me something, at least three paragraphs about your character, because I need to know, is your character the knight in shining armor who is King Arthur, or is he Lancelot, or is he Mordred? You know, because unless the GM really has a clear idea on his players, the vision that you have for your character, it is so easy to accidentally have a story and concept that completely jumps the shark for your character's vision. True. That makes sense. And you know me, I have no problem uh, providing backgrounds. I enjoy that type of thing. Although it is a lot harder for other uh, players. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you don't have the time. Sometimes it's, you know... It's just not your battle. Yeah, I mean, and, and even some folks, you know, I ask, you know, hey, we're playing on Roll20. Give me a picture of your character. And they have a hard time envisioning what their character looks like. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those of try to, if you can encapsulate your character's vision. I mean, let's be honest, even actual writers out there, they admit that's why they don't put their characters on the cover of books or make pictures of their characters. Because in their mind, their character looks one way. To another person, their character looks in a completely different way. Which, that's always one of those ones of trying to get the vision to kind of match up. Because if it's close enough that you, your players know know the idea of their teammates, that's a great thing. Because I'd hate to think, you know, hey, your urban wizard in the modern world. I'm thinking Harry Dresden, but uh, you're actually thinking the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Nicholas Cage character. Or Harry Potter. Or Harry Potter, yeah. So it's good if you can, even with your fellow players, try to communicate what the vision of your character is. Because that way you can kind of either make your storylines work together, so they thread. It's going to bring yesterday up. Thread together, okay. Or you guys can even plan a meta clash at one point. Um, That's one thing that is nice about Roll20 the um bio tab Mm -hmm. the other players can view so i tend to put stuff in there um even if it's just a picture of the character that's a a really good point so that way you've got a bio that the group can go back and reread because we all know that you know things can change from week to week and all of a sudden you're like hey i forgot in this game this isn't our star wars game this is our genesis you know fantasy game what's your character's vision again oh yeah this is what your character's supposed to be doing so that way you guys can set things up appropriately yeah well, me for vision, of course, I have to go a little more 
literal. I know you're just Scarlet shocked, Witch and Vision what? <laughs> but I thought of two different things. Well, actually, one inspired the rest. Um, once when we were playing Scion, my character Val, who was a Scion of Freya, um, she actually had this artifact that, unbeknownst to her, you know, uh, how powerful it really was. Oh, she found out, but these. Uh, other competing band of scions wanted it. And so when I wouldn't give it to them, uh, they attacked us. And one of them blinded my character. And I was friggin' useless. It was so annoying. I'm getting the crap beat out of my character because I can't see a thing coming. And, um, it almost killed her. <laughs> it, it was rough. <laughs> but on the same token, I found out what that artifact did as a result of this. But the, the whole being blinded and all my teammates are like, you know, okay, you know, somebody tell me <laughs> what's attacking me. Where am You know, and they're like, get up against the wall. And I'm like, where's the wall? <laughs> So, uh, ever since then, I actually tend to play characters, like, particularly in D&D, that have dark vision. <laughs> um, I hate having to rely on a light spell <laughs> or something like that because my character can't see. And I think it's really funny that in the, um, and it's, it, it it actually sinks it in a, uh, more uh, in your mind too with roll twenty because they have the the lighting in there. So it's like uh, Jim will put you'll put something up and like oh, it's all black to me. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, well then here's your light. Does anybody have a light source? Yeah, okay, here's my light source. Okay, that's how much you can see. And I'm like, I'll see. <laughs> Give me the god I don't like seeing What's <laughs> hiding 20 feet away Give from me. you in the darkness? <laughs> exactly. So, um, uh, yeah, so that inspired uh, um, <clears throat> my preference <laughs> for species or races that can see it in the dark. Hey, I mean, you can create some great dramatic tension when you, you use that, you know, in Roll20, the dynamic lighting. And all of a sudden, players realize we can't see out of the circle of light. I mean, that's real life. But, you know, folks would be out in the wilderness and there's wolves baying in the darkness and you can only hold that torch so high. And what happens if all of a sudden <laughs> that torch goes goes out <clears throat> yeah and see that's why you know somebody should have a light spell because that way like my uh cleric um sister solace uh sh and she was uh um she would just put the light spell on like her mm -hmm. weapon so he, she could see in the dark but other people couldn't so she always had either a shield or a weapon or something on somebody's person that would shed light Preferably for them. not the rogue. Because so. there's mm -hmm. nothing worse than being the rogue and holding the torch. What do you mean I can't yeah. sneak around in the darkness with the torch? <laughs> oh, wait. Hooded lantern every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, what I like to do is I like to cast light on the inside of something inside the hooded lantern. So they can still cover it mm -hmm. up. You get that copper coin, cast light on it, and throw it uh -huh. in the can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or hell, there could just be a candle in there. I'll just cast light on the candle. The cool candle glows. And I'm also a fan of using the light spell on either a throwing dagger or just a copper coin. Because... Okay, I think we're actually skipping ahead on the... <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting down towards the okay, end of the week? Okay, so vision. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the, sh the chart. You're referring to light, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You have yes, the I vision am. to look ahead into the light. <laughs> yes, I had the vision. <laughs> Look into the light, Carrie. It's coming to the light. Ew. It's like, don't look in the light, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we digress. Do. But if we're digressing, then that means it's probably a good time to wrap up August the 4th for Vision on hashtag RPG Day 2020. Alrighty, guys. I hope you have the vision to tune in tomorrow for tribute, by the way. 
Hail Caesar and pay tribute. Pay your taxes. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.